So what is projecting and how do you know if a narcissist is projecting onto you? I'm Lise Clucci and I am here to help you understand toxic relationships and recovering from relationships with narcissistic people. So let's get started. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. We're going to talk about project. Projecting is basically a defense mechanism where the inside content, the stuff that's on the inside is being blamed or the, the blame is being shifted or the accountability for whatever it is on the inside is being shifted to someone on the outside. So they are literally taking what's going on inside their own minds and heads or things they've done or things they're guilty about or whatever and projecting it out onto other people as if the other people, you, are the one who did the thing. It's usually taking unwanted emotions or traits or attributes or whatever about yourself that you don't really like or the narcissist that they don't really like and projecting them outward onto someone else. So for example, someone who cheats, someone who has affairs, whatever, will come home and tell their spouse, I, I know you're cheating on me. I know that I know that you're doing these things, right? And they, they then and the spouse is like, I've never done that in my life, right? That's a form of projecting. So it's but it, it goes across the board. See, narcissists use this to manipulate situations so that they don't have to take accountability. We know they don't take accountability. They have very low levels of empathy. They can recognize that something is or isn't going on with a person, but they don't act on it and they don't care about what your feelings are. And so what they're trying to do is get away with it. They're trying to get away with whatever it is they're projecting onto you. Usually they're doing it. It's sort of a, as a form of gaslighting. It is a form of manipulation. So how can you tell when they're doing this to you? Usually you have a feeling that what the person is saying to you, what this toxic person is saying is unjust, is incorrect is not you it's them it feels like a truth's been twisted you get a sense of a distorted reality sometimes even this sense that they're a victim of something and you are a perpetrator you get the sense that all of this is messing with your mental health all of this is really confusing and conflicted and when you try and talk about it that's when the gaslighting starts. That's when they continue the projection and throw in other things to twist it all up so that none of it makes sense. So some ways that they might project, so they might call you things that you're not. They might point out things that you do that you've never done, but they're actually things that they do or that you can, can either assume or you know they are doing, such as the cheating example. They might get competitive with you. They might project their grandiosity out by competing with you and all of a sudden you catch yourself really trying to please them trying to dress better for them trying to look better than them better than them right like there's this competition feeling with the narcissistic person and you're thinking yes i can be competitive but not like this what's this about this shouldn't be in a relationship that's the narcissist projecting their grandiosity outward and causing competition so they can always feel better at the person. It, don't you feel when you're in competition with someone and it's really good competition, like you feel the drive, right? To be more competitive and to win. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to win. That has no place in a relationship. That's for sports and other types of things where you need to compete, right? They do it as a preemptive strike. So you may notice that a narcissist is doing the things we described, and then they get caught doing the, the thing that they just talked about. You may notice that that's, that's a preemptive strike and it sets the narrative. I say this a lot. It sets the narrative that you're already wrong. You're already crazy. You already lie. You already cheat, whatever it is. And so then when they do it or they get caught, they're like, I just did what you were doing or, oh, you're crazy. See how crazy you are. Look how jealous you are dismissing it all. And gaslighting you and and then they get away with whatever it is they're trying to get away with the narcissist is trying to make sure they are in charge of the relationship that they are in control of all of the, everyone around them that everyone operates through the delusion that they believe the world is that they are superior to everyone else and that they are even if they act inferior even if they play the victim they're still doing it they're still manipulating the way people act around them by projecting a personality that isn't true toward other people, right? So that other people react to it 
thinking they're dealing with a real person and what they're dealing with is artificial. They may even call you narcissistic when you are close to catching or realizing or finding out that they are the ones who are narcissistic, especially then. They may start preemptively calling you narcissistic, say borderline, say you've got a mental illness in order to cover up the truth of who they are and make sure that you're the one to blame. They do this in the same way with, I talked about the pity ploy last week, they'll do the same thing. That is a form of projection, right? They're projecting onto you what they need you to believe so that you change your behavior based on this manipulation. Everything's about a manipulation and everything's about control. What have you witnessed with projection? What do you feel when it happens and how do you react to it? Let me know in the main comments and we'll talk more about this. My name is Lise Colucci. I am here to help. So if you need coaching or group coaching, please check out the information in the main description of every video. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.